morning everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for being here once again i really appreciate that when you are watching my videos so today i'm going to highlight the blooms for may it is may 9 and our peonies are blooming if you can see there at the side the white blooms and the pink blooms those are peonies we are going closer later to have a look to appreciate the flower and over there on my left is also the vice door is also blooming um, not all open but you can see it's all white and the wisteria has shown a lot of blooms now and it smells so good especially at night so some flowers releases their scent at, at the evening so when you walk around the garden then you have that mm, that that heavenly heavenly smells a uh, heavenly scent I call that so also in front I'm going to bring you to our foreyard we also have a front garden before the house so our fleeder we have a fleeder and schneeball that is blooming so it's a tricolor so it has been placed properly so that there is a layer of color so we have a white fleeder a purple fleeder and a green schneeball at first and then it will become when it's fully bloomed then it will become white it will change its color so I'm also going to share you that and my greenhouse I have already harvested some of my salad so in there was 42 pieces of salad I have planted and grown and now what is left is just six pieces so we uh, we have given some to our neighbors to share the blessings of course and we are uh, have been eating every day almost every day salad so more fiber for the body uh, for good health to prosper good health have fun watching so we are going closer now to the peonies. Do you still see that? Yes, you see that. A little bit, no? <laughs> and we are going closer and I'm going to show you how are the blooms. They are so big and some people love it. So it is, uh, there is a story that this is an old flower that has been uh, engineered several times to develop. But some people love still the original, the original blooms. So we are going there closer. I will take you with me. Come, let's go. So I hope we don't disturb the bees here. Look at this beauty. So that's the peonies. Oops, the frog is springing. Look at that. And so many insects are here now trying to enjoy the nectar of the blooms. Um, let's go closer here. So this is a really uh, a fully open peony. And I hope I could make a flower arrangement using them, but I, I like to use here. I like this one is still close. I like to use this flower, this bloom here rather than the open one. The open one, when you put in the vase, they will not stay so long. Perhaps two, two days you have to replace it. So you see over there, the bees are in action. The bees are in action. Vespa, everybody is here enjoying the fruits of nature. And at the side, so I have to let's go around here under the tree under the rose so this is our bobby james a uh, rumbler rose it will bloom in june i think so let's go around here you see this pod here that's a nice one for the vase those are the white peonies Actually, this peony here is as old as the other peony that we have near that cedar tree. But somehow it loved its conditions here that it has grown bigger. So I will show you the difference. So over there is more sun. I think it's more dry. And the peonies are not so growing well. So that is about... Hello, fish. So that is about gardening. Some plants really don't thrive when they don't have the best conditions. In this circle here, we have four peonies. The other one is not blooming, but the, the three are blooming. We have the white, the light 
pink. There's the dark one. And there's an, there are four here in, in the group, but the other one is not blooming. So it bloomed last year, but now this year it has taken its pause. But I'm not cutting them yet because um, there are just very few here and I would love to see them in the garden and look at this look at this our palm tree <laughs> there will be also flower it seemed happy during the winter so it will be flowering imagine and the rhododendron here they have more tips I think this is the uh, purple and the white over there is already blooming see beautiful and we also he have here an atzali in peach looks good so this is um an area for rhododendron and atzali and the yellows the yellows are also there blooming the ferns are out and another rhododendron is about to show up in dark pink It's uh, the last hurrah of the tulips. They will be gone soon, but we have new blooms like the alliums. Let's go to the vice dorn. So let's have a close look at the blooms of the Weisstorn. They look like this. Very dainty. Look at that. And it's all in white. The wraps are still there because uh, the, past, the past few days it has been cold. Uh, we have the ice heiligen it's called. It happens usually in May that there is a uh, days a week of cold nights so that preserves the flowers here also they don't fall so fast and that's the look of the greenhouse now um salads are gone did i oh i only have five left so i only have five left i took one again and those are the what's left and my tomato are growing very well i have planted here ampalaya Ampalaya, but there is no signs of growth. I think I have a Some growth of the okra here. Oh, that is nice. The okra is growing See I planted some okra and it's growing. I'm happy. That's a surprise for today and The other one is also growing the okra mm -hmm. There are the weeds have grown so this is it's a busy time in the garden now i have to keep track with the weeds or else they take over the space of the plants i promise to take you in front with the fleeter and we are going to have a look of what our fleeter at this here that's your lauk the allium, we have the bluebells and some more peonies here in white and dark pink. Oh, there's a brimson. You see that 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 is a, a weed that is very itchy. Have to take it out, and some more peonies will be also blooming. Looks good here. This is what I meant. 
That's the Schneeball. The Schneeball. And there's the Fleeter. Smells so nice. And there's another one here. And yep. They're already getting brown. It's almost over. I think I am too late to take the video. So I think I gave you a good tour today and um, before I end, I'm just going to show you another highlight for me. Um, this behind me. Oh, it's dark, unfortunately. There, you see it. There, it's the clematis. So it uh, makes a good backdrop here. Look at that. I'm going to turn over also the camera so that you could see the flowers more than my face. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and thank you for always being here to watch the videos and enjoy my plants together with me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.